You can save a shitload of money. Welcome to the Oh my beach. goodness! Instagram world. How beautiful is that? I hope it tastes as good. Isn't it beautiful? It is very beautiful. Yeah, thank Roses you. and flowers and oh my goodness. And nice That's shirt. Good. And a nice shirt too. Where's I can't get it dirty though because as soon as we finish I have to take it back to the store. <laughs> You look so good. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> so the reason why we wear real shirts is because of uh, the theme of today. I see, okay. So we're on a date. <laughs> <laughs> you and me. It's just as well it's covered. So everybody gets crazy, right? <laughs> so today's theme is Instagrammable wines. Instagrammable wines. Yes. Can you guess what it means? It means wines that will look good on Instagram. Exactly. Oh. The wines that I prepared today, they look fantastic. They do. In their bottles too. Okay. Yeah. Although I'm not sure I really want to drink anything that's blue. <laughs> It'll be our adventure. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably poisonous. <laughs> so they are beautiful in their bottles and they are beautiful in their glasses but what is more important for us is, as you always say the quality no no absolutely it's beautiful <laughs> in the bottle beautiful in the glass but what's it like in the mouth yeah exactly and in the stomach <laughs> in the stomach too and in the blood <laughs> <laughs> so we'll test these wines in our blood in our stomach and in our palate there we go yeah so we sacrifice ourselves to our viewers. We, we do this for them every day. We are on the front lines <laughs> of protection for you. Yeah, exactly. We are like the canary in the coal mine. Uh -huh. You put the canary in the coal mine and then if there's gas, then the canary dies. When we die, you know, don't go there. <laughs> if you watch our video to the end, then uh, you will get to know what wine you should choose in terms of the beauty and the quality for a beautiful relationship. There you go. So, are you ready? Absolutely. To sacrifice yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> I prepared four sparkling wines, three rosé, and then one dessert wine. So, altogether eight wines. Beautiful, Peter. I mean the wines. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start our beautiful tasting. Okay. You must have had the devil with you when you were choosing these wines. I was with my wife. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the first wine? Even Carver is usually better than that. Mm -hmm. Carver for me is very apply. So I didn't want to say Carver. For me, it's something cheap. I don't know where it's from. I think it's old world. Not very good at all. Bum, 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 bum. It's a Frexnet Prosecco. It's not expensive. $19. Oh, no, they saw you coming in. Again. It's that bottle. Yeah, this bottle. $19. I'm the victim. I bought this bottle. We just got to make sure that for $19, nobody else buys it. No. Spend more money on the wine and less money on the bottle. So much fun. <laughs> <laughs> the second one for me was the Class Act here. Mm -hmm. It's not a great wine, but I thought it was the class of all of these eight wines. What and I thought this was champagne. The champagne wine have to twist themselves up like this <laughs> to make rosé champagne. Uh -huh. Hi, Valerie. It Good, good, thanks. How are you? Good. Oh my goodness, blue. <laughs> if I were tasting rosé champagnes, mm -hmm. I wouldn't really think that was amazing. No. But in the context of this, it is absolutely by miles, by three or four points, the best wine here. <laughs> right. today. I see. Moet de Chandon. Moet de Chandon. Rosé. What's the price? Sixty dollars. Too much, but it was the class act, and you would expect that champagne could do the class act. Mm -hmm. Okay, wine number three. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it? No. Cheap rosé. When you first poured it, it was cloudy. It's just too cloudy for me. Yeah, a little bit. Not very good. I think it's old world, but that's as close as I can get. It tastes oxidized. Yeah. 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 It's horrible, right? It's horrible. Number three. No. It's. Hello Kitty! Hello Kitty! <laughs> Vino Spumante Rose, Peter! Extra dry! Look at the bottle! <laughs> Look at the bottle! There's a theme here. 
Uh -huh. Look at that beautiful bottle for the crap wine. Look at that beautiful bottle for crap wine. So, it's also nearly $20. No, it's double. <laughs> double the price, Peter. It's $40. Jay, isn't it amazing that we do what we do? We are definitely the canaries in the coal mine. If we didn't die to protect you from this wine, at least if you listen to us, you can save a shitload of money. I bought this, I paid the money, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Jay didn't save the money, but you can. Yeah, it's $40. Making it, that's one thing. But the people who sell it for that kind of money, actually not even them. The people who buy it for that kind of money should have all their money taken away from them. They've obviously got too much. <laughs> Do you mean me? <laughs> <laughs> no. You are the canary in the coal mine. Look at the extent that you go to. Look at the sacrifices my man Jay makes oh, yeah. to be the canary in the coal mine. And do you know what my wife said? <laughs> she I was, shuddered to think. <laughs> she wants to keep this bottle after. <laughs> no, no, beautiful bottle. Uh -huh. You just paid $30 for it. For the bottle. For right? the bottle. <laughs> because the wine isn't worth 10 No. All right, so bye-bye, Hello Kitty. Oh, by the way, Hervé has the agency for Hello Kitty and he wants me to distribute it here. <laughs> really? <laughs> Number four. I didn't drink this. No, you didn't drink this. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. I put myself on the altar of sacrifice for you guys. Yeah. And I tried this. And how was it? Something that looks like a chemistry experiment in a laboratory. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what amazes me. I looked at this one, I thought, nah, what are you kidding me? Not bad at all. Alright. This one is way better than oh, the right. Right? Now I can't take the shirt back to the store. Oh, it's a, anyway, it's a blue shirt, so... <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you're making me crazy. <laughs> but it's not bad, it's quite alcoholic and it's fun. Uh huh. I would imagine that people that make fun wine like this would very often make it nowhere near this good. So I don't know who done something like this, but yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun and it's not bad at all. It's not bad. At least they had the decency to make something halfway decent before they put whatever they put inside it. All right. It's Blanc de Bleu. Cuvée Mousse. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fair enough. It's from California. California? Yeah. Why am I not surprised? Huh. $15. In terms of value for money on this lineup, it doesn't do too badly at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who would have thought? Isn't this beautiful? Yeah, they're beautiful packaging. Yeah. And then let's go to the next wines. Who's okay. this? Number five. So number five had a very grapefruit nose. It's got some sweetness, some cherry character. Number five, maybe Languedoc, maybe Provence. I thought it was old world, but very, very entry level. We're talking about your under $10. There is no under $10 wine here. No, nothing under $10? You were robbed. This is the worst rosé for me among these three. Oh, really? Yeah. How is it for you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Gérard Bertrand Côte de Rose, 2019. It's from Languedoc. Was this Languedoc? Yeah. I said Languedoc. Yeah. Or Provence. Yeah. Uh huh. Fourteen dollars. Too much. Paying for the bottle. Yeah. yeah. The bottle is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Their neighbors are selling the wine for six dollars in a regular bottle. So it's not worth the money. No, I agree with you. It's not worth the money. And then wine number six. So there's a florality to this nose, because wine number six, I was thinking, this is more like Provence. Yeah, this one is quite smoky too. This is a better wine, mm -hmm. but it's still not special. I mean, I called number six Provence. Look at this short bottle. <laughs> Miraval. Okay, Miraval. It helps to have been around the block, huh? Côte de Provence, 2019. Terrible. You know that I used to be the agent for Miraval? Who? Me. Really? Yeah. Of this wine? When they made real wine. 
when the old guy uh -huh. had not yet sold it, when Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were living on the property with an option to buy. Then what they did was they exercised the option to buy and then they had the wine made by winemakers in the Rhone. In the Rhone. Uh -huh. Instead of the spectacular wines that Miraval used to make, most particularly their white wine from Roll, mm -hmm. which is one of the most amazing white wines I have ever tasted. Really? They really get good prices for much less quality wine. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, they got divorced. They yes, got divorced, they did. right? But the wine should have divorced them before then. So the price, Miraval? $20. Expensive. Shall we do number... Number seven. The people that made this wine were trying to make serious wine. Number were, seven? Yeah. They mm -hmm. were trying to make serious wine. I'm not sure that they succeeded, but they were trying to make serious wine. Very lemony. Yeah, very lemony actually. Yeah. Also another old world wine. This one is my favorite one among these three rosé. In the end, with a little bit of air on it, the last one. The last one. Yeah. All right. Yes. I love the nose. The palate's a bit astringent for me. I love the freshness yeah. here compared to the others. All right, wine number seven. It's Pasqua Rosé Trevenetze. IGT. IGT. The bottle is beautiful. Yeah. And the price? $17. Look at the bottle, Peter. It's a very nice one. Yeah. The nose is much better than the palate. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. I'm trying to think what the grape varieties might be. Corvina and Trebbiano di Lugana. Then the last one. This is an abomination. Yeah, this is terrible. It is what they wanted it to be. Uh -huh. It was not meant to taste authentic. No. It was not meant to be anything other than what it is. So this is cheap. This is yeah. cheap. Yeah. yeah. No acidity, no quality, the sort of artificial pineapple character. Not even the pineapple itself. The no, no, artificial pineapple. Yeah, artificial. There's nothing real about yeah. this wine. The leftover of the juice in the pineapple can. No, <laughs> no? somebody like a chemist making something. <laughs> <laughs> right. Which is, ah, uh, the people will think this is pineapple. Pretty damn terrible stuff. Yeah, this is really artificial. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put the, the flower here. <laughs> 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 this one is especially prepared for today, so... Number eight. <laughs> Lolea, number two. Frizzante White Sangria. It's Spanish. And the price? It's $15. $15. This one is incredibly bad. That is the worst one. Yeah. And what is interesting to me, this kind of wine always accentuate all natural. <laughs> I can't think of any fruit that really has those aromas except for pineapple. And even then, it's very, very concentrated and almost artificial. This is a witch's brew. Witch's brew. Okay. When I began to learn about wine, whenever I saw something like uh, all natural on wine's bottle, then I had a doubt. Because normally if uh, it's really natural, then you never say it on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> There's no question. That kind of thing goes on a lot, you know. Oh, this is a vegan wine. Almost all wine is vegan. Yeah. So we've tasted all eight bottles of wine. What would you recommend as Instagrammable wines? Instagrammable? Yeah. Meaning a reasonable combination of the quality and the beauty of the bottles and the color of the wines. Wine number four. Wine number four. Because it's not terrible. Yeah. And it's very, very interesting color. Mm -hmm. Blanc de Bleu. Blanc de Bleu. And then? I want to go with the Moet Rosé, but I just can't, in the context of this, do it for $60. Yeah, it's expensive. You know. It's expensive. Yeah. And then? And the Pasqua. Pasqua, I agree. So, if you want to look lit. In look what? Lit. 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 <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you just have to look at us. We're lit. Yeah, we are, we are lit today. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to look lit in Instagram, we would recommend this Blanc de Bleu, which is so much fun. And then Pasqua. And if you are very rich, you have so much money. 
Then probably Muete Shangdong Rose. And this Frexinet Prosecco? No. Hello Kitty? No. Cote Rose? No. And then Miraval? No. Miraval is really expensive for the quality. And this <laughs> Lolea? No, 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 no. <laughs> and do you know what I'm going to do from now on? No. I'm gonna shoot photos with Peter and I'm gonna upload them on Instagram. And sitting out here in a Southern California afternoon. With singing birds. Beautiful temperature. Doesn't get better than that, except for some of these ones. <laughs> <laughs> so, one, two, smile, Peter. Come and visit j.wineking on Instagram. j.wineking on Instagram. Yeah, then you'll see the actual photos of this Instagrammable wines. Peter's face and my, a part of my body. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I loved it, yeah. except for the wines. <laughs> <laughs> that was it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Live a love. Live loves. Thanks for listening and please check in on our health because we're the canaries in the coal mine for you guys. Uh -huh. 이럴 땐 이와인 네이버 밴드로 놀러 오시면 와인을 잘 몰라도 편하고 싸게 사실 수 있도록 제가 많이 도와드립니다. 다들 만족하시고 좋아하시더라고요.